I genuinely, from the very bottom of my atmospherical core, cannot stand rec randoms. Like, they make me so sick to my stomach sometimes. I just, I can't anymore. I can't. Let me explain to y'all boys what happened real quick. As you can see, this is my team that I have right here. This is me in the corner, and I'm currently not on my Paint B Center build that I have been on for like the last 10 videos on the channel. So the build that I actually was on was my 6-9 two-way inside-out score. Absolute demigod, by the way. This build right here is just y'all boys gonna see that's all i gotta say but please pay attention to this right here as you can see our center is an ai and also that guy bricked that shot but still we loaded up with a full five so the man literally just left the game so at the time i'm like hmm, okay we got an ai center like i could care less i mean i've seen ai centers do more work than regular people i mean, you know what i'm saying like here i am cutting to the paint but kicking it out wide open to the wreck random brick Catching boards, hitting the other rec random, wide open shot again. Brick. Yo. <laughs> Woo -hoo. And they get an open three off of it and they cash that home. But that was just the start of the problems. This guy leaves the game also. Now it's a 3v5. Now mind you, this is a 3v5 the very first minute into the game. And I haven't even used this build often. I haven't used this build in like a month. And if it wasn't bad enough that we were already handicapped, look at this guy. What is he doing? What is he doing? Bro, I, I really can't, bro. I, I just can't. My cholesterol, my brain cells, I, I literally have a headache sometimes playing this game. Like, that can't be safe. The minute I saw him take that shot, bro, I just wanted to quit, honestly. I just wanted to get out of here, because these guys, it was going to be so hard to stop these guys, man. Luckily for me, I've been in way worse situations than this, sadly, in one game still. So I knew we still had a chance. Here I am trying to dot up to the corner, get this guy open. He just staggered. The pass was late. The pass was late. I will take accountability for that because what you're going to see from that same guy in the future will be disgusting. Wide open three. Cash. I'm over here. I got meter on. I got a rainbow shot, whatever that is. I'll tell you, no, I was not expecting to have to play a game like this, bro. I was just trying to chill, literally. Wide open three. Cash. Finally. Oh, my Lord. Finally. AIs are actually playing amazing defense on these guys. They're low-key box. These boys cannot get open. He tries to step back cheese, and I don't know what that was. <laughs> we get the board, though. And now here I am moving on the fast break. Watch the backdoor cuts. Playmaker. The first quarter was coming to a close, and I had 5, 4, and 3 to start the game off. Pretty nice stat line, but I just, I just couldn't, bro. I just couldn't, bro. I couldn't. Started the second quarter, and these guys are trying to AI cheese, but they don't even know how to do it properly. Crazy. I grabbed the board, and I'm trying to see if I can find a pass. I don't see anybody. I'm taking it all the way myself, coast to coast. Oh, no. Nah, it was right here that I realized I could really go crazy. I knew that I could probably still pop off. Look at the pass. And he gets a bucket off of that. Now the confidence was growing. Now I truly believed that we could cook these guys. They were taking bad shots. I was catching boards. Now this is where I want some respect because look at the IQ. Look at the pass. Look at the pass. Who was expecting that crispy? Yo, they had to call time out. These embarrassing rec randoms were forcing me to bring out the full potential of my build. Because just look at the guy, man. He didn't make a single pass to anybody. He pulled the dumbest shots possible. And just look at his defense. Don't even look at the play. Look at how he's playing defense all the way in the corner out of bounds. I don't care what your situation is. I don't care what you got going on at home. I don't care if you got to feed your baby baby formula. Okay, maybe that's a little crazy. But there's no way you're this buns at the game. One thing I will say, though, is that this other guy was pretty good at the game. As you can see, he gets a steal. We get the ball. He pushes the pace and gets it to me fast, and we score off of it. I know that guy in the corner wasn't calling for the ball. If he don't go sit down somewhere, yeah, stay over there. He had the nerve to actually raise his hand and call for the ball. What is wrong with you? Give me that steal, too. Off to the races again. Look at the dime. Look at the dime. Wide open shot. Look at the dime. But the major thing I was really worried about was that this guy was going to stop playing the game completely if he didn't touch the ball. So I I kept passing it to him and he kept putting up just absolute bricks all this meant to me though was that i was gonna have to work a lot harder to try to pull out this dub i get the ball and look at the dime look at the dime man anytime i do a dime like that they had to call a timeout we were legit on our way to a triple double in the first half this guy gets the ball again and he has the ball in his hands you would think that at some point he would say let me make a pass. Yeah. Yeah, he was really about to do that. We had to call timeout because he was really going to pull that like that from there at that angle. That's so absurd to me. 
But shout out to the power forward for seeing me on the backdoor cut. That's a great feed, but 2K just G's me, bro. But I will say that direct random with the gray hair, the power forward was actually pretty good at the game. He knew exactly who to pass the ball to, and we just had that chemistry immediately for some reason. Because look at the... Oh my god, the dimes was crazy! First off, why are there four people on me? What is, what was that mosh pit down there? Secondly, why is this guy playing defense like this, bro? He's just standing there, menacingly. The first half had just finished and I had gotten player of the half, rightfully so, because the stat line that I was putting together in just the first half was insane. Nine points, eight rebounds, 10 assists, two steals. Now I was shooting four for 10 at the time. It was a little bit difficult for me to get open. The paint was clogged and I couldn't really get a shot up, but I told myself that I would have to score in the second half if we were gonna win this game. Look at the defense to start out. I am playing clamps, DB work, and we secured a steal. I get the ball back and look at the heads of they are sending towards to guard me. Like, I hope y'all notice this. They're sending four people at a time at me. These boys do not care. But even though I know I need to score, I just can't give up an open shot, so I pass it to the random and... When I tell you that this was a 2v5 game, it might have been a 2v6, because the way this guy was playing was helping the other team, literally. We're on the fast break, I get the ball, it's a 1v1. Patience is key, I get him the jump, and look at the paint, bro. You would have thought I was cussing that the way so many people pulled up. Like, what the heck, bruh? Is that too soon? Is that too soon? You guys can see right here that I go to game chat and I'm having a conversation with the guy and this is exactly what he tells me. He tells me not to give the random the ball, the guy with the pink hair, because he is absolute trash. That's a good shot though, that's a good green. But even after he made that, he still called him buns and told me not to feed him the ball anymore. Now me personally, I wouldn't have taken that level of disrespect. I mean, even I felt bad for the guy because he was talking spicy about him. And that's why he did that. He was trying to sell. He did not care. He had no regards for life. I'm wide open though, cash. If we were gonna win this game, I had to lock in and score in this quarter. Midway through the third, we were able to secure our biggest lead of the game. We got up by 11 points, but I knew that the way the game was going, these guys could come back at any time. It just took a couple of mistakes and these guys were gonna go crazy. Wide open shot. Okay then. Shout out this guy because this is exactly what I want in a wreck random, man. Look at the defense. The hustle, the determination. He doesn't want to lose to a full five. Let's go. And here I get hit with a back door and end up jumping early, but he bails me out. That's what I'm talking about. That is the definition of a wreck random. Look at the nice pass behind the back straight to him. Take over on him. Okay, he missed that, but look at the read right here though. Look at the read right, yo. When I need to, I'ma lock in for real. And seeing how fast I was playing the game and how much I was getting done for the team, got my confidence up. I get the ball right here. Let me show this guy how to AI cheese real quick. That's how you AI cheese. We were up by 18 points. Look at the safety work. We get the ball back. We're pushing it. Oh, I guess not. Never mind. We're not pushing it at all. And just before the quarter ends, this guy bricks and I get my last rebound to secure the triple dub. I also tossed a dime, by the way. He missed it, though. Up by 20 in the fourth quarter. I'm not really worried about what these guys can do. They're not showing me anything at all. Look at the outlet pass. Look at it. Oh, no. Respectfully, I left a lot of assists on the table. Y'all see the stat line? 21, 12, and 12, baby. I wasn't worried about anything at all. Nothing could stop us. Except for that. But then something happened in this fourth quarter. As you can see, he greens that shot. Okay, that's only one shot. We're coming back and we're gonna score anyways. But then they come back again. Another green. Okay. And this is on me. I should have been moving around, but I just stood in the same place and they get a steal off of me standing around. We can't get the ball back either. They get an easy dunk. Okay. I mean, the game is still out of reach though. Or so I thought. We get another TO. And off of that TO, they get another basket to cut it to 12. I mean, up by 12 with two minutes left, we were still in a good position. But then I realized who we had on our team. What? Yo, I can't. At least I got the board though. Looking for the alley. This game sells me. But respectfully though, I just wanna say thank you to number 23 because my guy, your shot was broken. If you had a jump shot, oh my goodness, I would have been scared right there. 
But even though one of their players could have built a whole apartment complex with the bricks that he had, they were still able to cut the deficit down to 10 points with a minute and 30 to go. Now here I am getting swarmed by these guys. I see this man wide open. He finally makes a pass and we get an open three. That really is the dagger right there. Or is it? Yes, it actually was the dagger because after that, these guys weren't really doing anything in that last minute at all. And I'm not gonna lie, I decided that we just gotta hold the ball. They start fouling us. They wanted to win this so badly because they knew. They knew how it would look if they lost to us. Five seconds to go in the game. We are up by seven. We are gonna get the dub. We are gonna get it done. There's no way we pulled through and won this game with two people. I'm sorry. That guy was two for 11. He gave up buckets. I'm sorry, he did nothing for the team. It was a 2v6 and we handled that. My final stat line was 23, 15, and 12. I did have 60 O's, I did. I had to, I had to have those 60 O's. It builds character.